Today on Toy Shiz, it's the attack of the mini marshmallow marketing minions. Let's talk toys. And movies. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shiz here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update and a very happy Ghostbusters Day 2021 to you all. Couple Ghostbusters reveals today was... Truth be told, really hoping for a trailer. I know there's some time left. Perhaps we could still see one by the end of this evening, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> Nothing yet. Hopefully something soon. The last thing we got was Paul Rudd versus the mini marshmallow puffs, which we will be talking about a lot more later on in this vid. But shout out to IGN.com, right, via their Twitter today. They did a little bit of some Ghostbuster action themselves, talked to the cast, showed off some stills from the movie, which looked great. Nice to see the Ecto-1 still cruising around. We got a good look at this house mansion thing and then some actors, you know, from the movies and such. Again, a trailer would have been nice, right? Shout out to Bam Toy Company. They made that really cool boogeyman. It's a fan, let me just stress this, a fan-made action figure, the boogeyman from the real Ghostbusters. Completely doesn't have anything to do with Ghostbusters themselves. However, they're going to be doing a new Sam Hain figure from the real Ghostbusters. I will put their Facebook down in the description below. You can contact them via private message to see about getting one. Sam Hain looks awesome. You can hear him in my head, you know. It is good to know I am remembered, you know. That whole chestnut right there. That is the voices for you. But if you're wondering his height, he stands bigger than the Kenner real Ghostbuster figures of back in the day. And then also, of course, the ones that Hasbro have re-released. And you can see him up against the Boogeyman and such. So if you want him, again, contact Bam Toy Company because, yeah, that's uh, very cool looking. Three different heads on that guy, too, by the way. That's awesome. In Hasbro news, we got to look <laughs> at some upcoming Mini Puffs action figures. And I can tell you right now, I understand why they're doing this. I get it. You got Grogu. You got Baby Groot. Yeah, it's something for the kids. Uh, if, in all honesty, if it gets people excited for anything Ghostbusters, fine. <laughs> I do like the Mini Puffs in the sense that they're giving us like a set of action figures. So if you get like two sets... You can have all the interchangeable heads, which is pretty cool. You got six interchangeable heads going on, so that's cool. They're adorable. They're very good for marketing. <laughs> that's all. That's all I can say. They're adorable. They're cute. They try to kill each other and cause damage and such. Who knows if they're a big part of the movie, if they're just like a marketing thing, marketing tool. So be it. I would actually prefer that. But yeah, We'll see how they go in the movies. They stand at 3.5 inches tall. They're the same size as the paranormal mini puffs portrayed in Ghostbusters Afterlife. So they're kind of life-size in that sense. <laughs> and they're posable. They feature premium design. They always put that in there. And detailing that embody the quality and realism of Ghostbusters that fans expect Hasbro's plasma series yada yada I'll put a link in the description below you can get them off Amazon if you'd like or entertainment earth thanks for using those links those are the sites that I recommend 27 bucks and they'll be coming out towards the end of the year right around the time where the movie comes out so that's cool to see and then this one I'm not gonna lie I they it's because it's it's because it's like flame glow. Like I don't know why anything that glows in the dark, especially when you do Ghostbuster stuff, I'm such a sucker for that. God dang. But you know what? I have to say that I'm not thrilled about, again, buying the same Plasma Series Ghostbusters. Let me just tell you, right? They're slime covered. They come with their Neutrona ones and they come with the blast effect and everything else. So that's good. And then they glow in the dark. And <laughs> I just thought, like, they're Ecto Glow Heroes. You got me on that. But the one thing I'll tell you about is that these are also $27. And all day, if you want to say the glow in the dark is extra, fine. They look like they have different heads on them, maybe a li little bit more you know, changed, altered, a little bit more photorealistic. But they're described as being premium collectible Ghostbuster figures. 
ectoplasmic glow, plasma series glow-in-the-dark figures from Hasbro inspired by the original design of the movies, highly posable. They're the same exact plasma figures that we all got last year and figures that, to be quite honest, you can still find on store shelves. But Ghostbuster fans, young and old, they could charge the figures glow-in-the-dark by placing them under a light. Each figure comes with three entertainment-inspired accessories, including a neutrona wand, a proton pack, and the glow-in-the-dark proton stream. I want these <laughs> because I'm a sucker for Ghostbusters. However, 27 bucks a pop. That's that's where I go. I, you know, I have to see these in hand and everything else. Being that, I mean, I can I have them in hand right now. It's just it's just a matter of the glow in the dark feature, but god dang, they are pretty cool and again, uh, I just love me some Ghostbusters. I have high hopes for this movie, please. I want to see more Ghostbusters stuff. And can we get a new trailer, please? Let's see something. We gotta see something. So with the Ecto Glow Heroes, again, I'm not too stoked on the price, to be honest with you, but I do love me some flame glow, glow in the dark action, just like the old Ghost Riders, and yeah. Those, I mean, they would be cool to glow in the dark in the shop. You know what? I'm just gonna move on. I'm curious to know what you guys think about all these upcoming toys, and I'm curious to know what you guys think on the movie. Are you looking forward to it? Are you going to be grabbing any of these Ghostbuster toys? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Ghostbusters. I'm gonna leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food, but most importantly, remember, we need more Ghostbusters stuff. People need to be like hyped for that. You know what I mean? Like I'm hyped, but then I was kinda like, uh, but then the toys brought me back. You get the drift. Anyways, and when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.